What's up, everyone? Welcome back to an episode of Hogwarts Legacy here on RPG. Uh, we got some mail. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Oh, good for him. Okay, well, uh, we are going to be doing... Let's go here. Okay, so quests. We gotta go see the headmistress. Uh, let's do the poacher's house call. Uh, let's go do that one. Talk to Poppy. So we're going back to Hogwarts. That's a fast moving broom now. Those upgrades. All right, we got to get in. Where is she? Oh, she's not at Hogwarts. Okay. Okay, what's going on? We gotta wait. All right, let's wait for Poppy. Oh, good, you're safe. All right, Poppy's here. <laughs> hey, Poppy, what's going on? There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall, and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm so sorry, Poppy. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Okay, so what's a Snidget? Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. So it's in fact, like a the golden snitch. snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why do they care about it? Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. Oh, That's no. why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Okay, so where, where exactly are, they... are these snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Okay. Well, I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. Yeah. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, 
who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. I don't know. Centaurs aren't known for being the friendliest lot. Especially not with wizard kind, and not right now. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. Okay. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Okay, well, we're gonna go to... All right. Let's go ahead and knock out the main quest. Okay, so we're going to the map chamber. Actually, let's go to the room of requirement real quick. Uh, we are going to, we got a couple of things we need to get checked out real quick while we're there. All right, let's uh, identify the gear. Oh, not good. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's see what gear we can mess with. So we're currently wearing this. Can we... Okay. Hmm. Upgrade it. Yeah. Takes it down. Not really good. Can we upgrade? Takes it down. Not good. All right, we're gonna see what we got. All right, let's go to the room of requirement. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, head over to. Uh, let's go to the map chamber. Okay, guys, we are uh, hopping into the map chamber. Let's see what uh, this third trial brings us. Welcome back. Okay, Miss Fitzgerald. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Okay. Have a look at the map. Okay. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. What? As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, <laughs> I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. Yeah. You'll need to access the office while he's away. Okay. I understand. And how? Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Okay. So now we gotta get into the head the headmaster's office. Ooh, this should be fun. Huh. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Well, let's go talk to Professor Fig. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Rebellion. Let's go see Professor Fink.
Okay, where is Professor Fig? I think I know how and where to approach the Sentinels oh. about protecting the Snidgets. Okay, Poppy. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. I will, Poppy. But I have something else to deal with first. Now hey, Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the Goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. Okay. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Uh, you'll love Believe this. it or not, it's in the headmaster's <laughs> office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. Oh, jeez. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Oh, Wait, no. doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? Ooh. One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. <laughs> Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Okay. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. <laughs> this shall be fun. So now I become Professor Black. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, okay. Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Okay, well, let's go figure out where my house elf is. As I am now Professor Black. This should be fun, going through the hallways. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Oh. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp, I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. <laughs> I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. <laughs> I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. What could the headmaster want? Come on, open up. That's right, I have no... no wand, so... Thank <laughs> you. 
When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... Professor Black. How are you, sir? Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? <laughs> Professor, a word? Oh. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? <laughs> I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, <laughs> Madam Kagawa. <laughs> Maybe I can get some, What uh, did we do to Quidditch? deserve him as a headmaster? Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Maybe I can get some, uh... Okay, where is... Oh, he's in the Great Hall. Okay. Huh? Um. We have to go to the Great Hall now. Oh, of course. So we're here. All right, we're almost there. And come on. What? Where am I doing? Did I go the wrong way? I think I did. Professor Weasley was being killed. Here we go. The Great Hall. So where is where is he? Scarp. Scrope. Stand proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Scrope. Professor, a word, please. Oh, Miss Weasley. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. <laughs> ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. <laughs> Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness! You cannot believe everything you hear, <laughs> Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> now move. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Finn. I shall never find <laughs> All right. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Wait until Master sees what a wonderful... Uh, ahem! Attention, students! 
I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the elegant banners of Ravenclaw. I shall be taking no questions at this time, or ever. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope <laughs> begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure, <laughs> obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Uh, ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. <laughs> Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. <laughs> okay. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. <coughs> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Okay. So now we're gonna break into the headmaster's office. Okay, let's go to the headmaster's office. <clears throat> this should be fun. Revelio. Go to the headmaster's office. I hear the key. Expelliarmus. Bombardo. Depulsor. Accio. Rependo. Descendo. Levioso. Okay, oh, I'm gonna go the wrong way. Oh, it's down this way now. Or up this way. Time to go to the master's office. Oh, there's the key. Got the flu flame for the grand staircase. Oh, that's a troll. Why are you? Where are you going, buddy? That was weird.
man. All the way up here? The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the pulse word. Here we go. Toujours pure. That worked. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. It's good to see We're you. Here. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Okay. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. Okay. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Oof. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Huh. That must be the pedestal. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, in the book? Oh, this ain't good. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Lee. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously, you encounter, to find me. Okay. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Oh my gosh. Is this this is great this is creepy guys I should have run when I could I'd be free by now okay. best move while I can Neve must be here somewhere. Oh, man. Oh, can't do that. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Nothing to see here. Nothing I to see here. I need to time here. this just right. Okay. We're gonna wait. Oh, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> okay, we're through. Woo. More?
Okay, but this ain't... What the heck, man? How am I supposed to do this? I see. A staircase straight ahead. <laughs> okay. heard something else. How could this happen? Who's this? Oh man. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Uh oh. Shoot. Okay. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? as fast as I can. Oh, this will be fun. <gasps> okay, let's see. Let's see. Are they going to turn around? Doesn't look like it. Come on. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're through. They're everywhere, man. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. They're everywhere. Come on, man, turn around. Turn around. On, turn back around. There we go. Uh oh, death. <laughs> Nothing this way, but more danger. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. <laughs> okay. Like the only safe way forward. Okay. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Oh man. my chance go 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 okay we're doing good so far we're doing good that's the way forward okay a cloak I think I'm invisible. How do 
before we get out there. Oh, I gotta go this way. Yep. So I'm invisible. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Well, this is good. This is the way forward. Finally free. <laughs> now, where are you, Neve? Okay, now what? What have yet to find me? Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Oh no. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Okay. Now I have a wand? That's all I get of those two? Rebellion. I only get the two? Okay. Bombarda. Now what? So we're going to Hogwarts. Okay. This thing is, this one's nice. More. Defender. 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 Bombarder. Defender. 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 Defender! Depulse! Bombard! Bodega! Descender! Defender! Bombarder! Depulse! Descender! Bombarder! Defender! Descender! Depulse! Bombarder! Defender! Descender! Depulse! Defender! Depulsion. Descender. Depulsion. Okay. Okay, guys. Time for the next challenge? Yeah, this is a challenge here. What do we got?
Defender! 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 Descender! Bombarder! Repulsor! Defender! Descender! Defender! Descender! Bombarder! Complete the start of the trial. She's gone. Dear sweet Neve. Let us always honor her. We won't be the same without her. It's death again. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Okay. 
So now what? <laughs> so now we're gonna witness your memory. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Okay. Oh, a pensive. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of That's this may good. have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. And saw again. what I did for my father. Arnia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. What are you doing? I can you feel it? Oh, it's a door. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. That was crazy. <laughs> okay, now what? Now what? Oh, Professor Fink. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. You are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacall. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. Disturbing. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. Yeah. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. Oh, come on, I man. shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Dude. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. 
and she pulled emotions as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Yeah? Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs> okay, well... That was, uh... A... A quest? Okay, so we got one more quest left, the surprise meeting. Um, but we're going to go ahead and hold off on that. Uh, that is it for today's episode, everybody. Let's just check our challenges. Uh, where are we at? Over here in combat. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to go check our quests. Our collection, I mean, if, if, uh, we gained a couple more things, including death. Okay. Okay, everybody, we will see everyone on the next episode of Hogwarts Legacy here on RWG. You guys have a great rest of your day.